Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a shockwave lithotripsy. During this procedure, external shockwaves are directed to the location of the stones in your body and which break the stones into tiny pieces. When you urinate, these pieces are then discharged from the body along with the urine. This animation shows the removal of stones in the kidney. There is usually no need for general anesthesia, but pain medication is administered for comfort during the procedure. You are placed on an operating table with your flank positioned towards the shock wave generator. Imaging with X-rays or ultrasound might be performed to pinpoint the exact location of the stones. Focused shock waves are then transmitted to the stone through the skin. The stone absorbs the energy of the shock waves and breaks into pieces as small as grains of sand. Because of their small size, these pieces can pass easily from the body along with the urine when you go to the toilet after the procedure. The procedure lasts about 45 minutes. If you have a large stone, it is quite common that you need multiple sessions to completely break it. Your doctor will inform you on the needed course of treatment. After the procedure, your doctor will see you for a follow-up to check if the stone completely broke up and got flushed out with the urine. You will be given a urine strainer to catch the bits of stone passed in your urine for further examination. Sometimes a stone fragment can temporarily get stuck in the ureter on its way down. This can cause some blood in your urine, congestion and even pain. If you are in pain, use the prescribed painkillers and temporarily drink only small amounts to minimize the congestion. Contact your doctor if you develop fever. When the pain is under control, you can start drinking normally again.